Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Wavy here back with another video and today guys I'm going to be teaching you how to customise your iOS 14 home screen And yeah, um, basically this is a different kind of type of video guys If you do want to see more of these kind of videos, drop a like um, And if you don't, drop a dislike But yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to customise your iOS 14 home screen And before you say anything guys, I know Basically I had to reset my phone and it was really really annoying I spent like 3 hours flipping creating this sick home screen but obviously i know how to do everything now so i can i thought I might as well uh, make a video on it because lots of people want to know so yeah i'm gonna make a video on it so guys firstly i'm gonna be telling you some couple things obviously i've just got this next wallpaper you can choose whatever wallpaper you want but if you do want good wallpapers i recommend going to like pinterest or something but basically i'm gonna be teaching you how to get all these kind of um different icons and widgets and just making your home screen look really good Firstly, I'm going to show you the widgets actually. So, as you can see, there's this app called Widget Smith, it's actually sick. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to get widgets of like different pictures and like times. I'll show you the, how to get like different times and stuff first. So, for example, if you want like a large widget, click add large widget. On, you need to download the app, it's free, it's fine, it's pretty good. You want to go to the add large widget, you can add large one or two. And let's say I'm going to add large one, I'm going to just click. You can change the name of it and the font and all of this kind of stuff. Obviously, the location is dependent on where you're from, and all this other stuff is dependent on that, and personal preference. But I'm just going to leave it like this. It's the principle of it. You can change the name and that kind of stuff. Then you just click Add Large Widget, and then there's you've got like all these kind of ones in it. And basically, once you've like set that up or whatever, you want to just like hold on the app, and then click Edit Home Screen, and then you'll see that Add in the top right corner. You know, click the Add button. And yeah, basically, you'll see all this, these little like widgets and stuff. You want to click Widget Smith, and then you want to click Large, Add Widget, and then you can just like um, press the Home button, and then it's there. And then yeah, that's the first step to like adding a different widget. So that's the first way you can do it. And then you can add like different kind of widgets. So basically, obviously, if you don't like it or whatever, you can remove it. Bam. You can go to the widget smith up again you can go to like a medium click medium click it you can change the name to whatever you want like i don't know um 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 i don't know i don't know yeah so you can change the name yeah bang then you change the name you can edit it i'll show you how to edit it so you click it and then there's different ones you can choose from firstly like for example that font you can change the font you know, let's just say I'm going to choose, I don't know. I'm not going to actually choose any of these guys. I'm just showing the customizability. You can change the colour depending on, like, whatever, like, theme you're going for. So let's say, I don't know, purple. And I did, I used to have a purple theme, guys, but obviously my phone got reset. But I'm just showing you the basics. So once you've done this again, you want to just hold on the app, click edit home screen, click the add in the top right. Then you want to go to the bottom, click widget smith. You want to go to medium add widget and then you want to let go hold on the widget and click edit widget click widget and then um you'll see that that's the one i named obviously you know the name's a bit random but then you want to click your name and then bang it will edit it to like how you changed it so obviously i did that but you know you can do all this kind of stuff for example that's medium to yeah, and yeah, that's the first thing. For right, like I, I can't even speak. Right, guys, I'm gonna be showing you now how to get like different images. So I don't know. I'm gonna just type in I don't know X instance. I think I don't know. Like I actually don't know, guys. I'm just searching up anything. Um. All right. Let's just say I want this here. Oh, I do, you don't want like this like really bad qualities. I won't lie, guys. So if it is bad quality, I'd avoid it. Um. Yeah. This isn't terrible quality i'm not going to use it obviously like permanently but yeah to get this to like be a widget what you want to do is go to your photos and yeah as you can see my whole thing reset you know it's people anyways um you want to just like click on the photo whatever you got and, uh, click the um what's it called um the three dots and you want to click add to album new album you can name it whatever just click it one then um Go back to your home screen. Once you have your home screen, you want to go back to the Widget Smith app, and then you want to click on. Um, 
you want to click allow access to all photos but yeah that what you want to do is go to a certain wi widget you want so let's say i want a small widget edit it click it click the edit button and then oh click it once you've done that what you do is as you can see this custom section you can click photo or photos and album i find that when you click photo it's kind of glitch so just add a photo separately to the in, in an album and as you can see what i did um from before if i just click it and then click um favorites um you'll see all this waffle but that's not the point just click that and you'll see photos and album selected album the one that's at the bottom which is one once you've done that you want to just click off it like swipe off and you'll see there it is you click save you can rename and do all that kind of stuff you want to click save then you want to hold on the app click edit home screen like you saw before click add then you want to go to the bottom go to widget smith um in my case i click i chose a small widget so i'm just click add widget and bang you'll all already be customized obviously it might not be for you so if it isn't all you want to do is go to widget edit widget and then yeah it might show up like that and what you're gonna have to do is hold down on the widget um why, why is my phone bugging uh hello oh, why is it bugging now you want to hold down on the widget click edit widget and then click on the widget that you created change the name so it's easy and bang you've got that obviously if you don't want this remove widget and yeah it's already coming together quite nicely if you know what i mean guys um you can like edit home screen you can move your apps around or whatever and customize it like that and now guys i'm going to be showing you the last step and um is how to like get custom icons and stuff and now i'm going to be showing you um how to get different app icons which is possibly the most important thing so as you can see i've got um Todoroki, however you pronounce his name yeah basically as you can see he's on that but i'm going to be showing you how to actually do that so yeah i've just got this random app icon i literally just searched up iphone custom app icons you can do the same if you really want i recommend going to youtube and tiktok they are really really got so many sick app icons and yeah what you want to do is click shortcuts you won't up see any of this crap you'll like probably see this page and basically if you're not you'll see this page you want to click all shortcuts you won't see any of this crap trust me you just want to click add in the top right you want to click add action and you want to click open app once you click that and click search you'll see all these kind of different apps um and yeah you can just click the open app and then yeah once you've seen that like you can click choose and you can choose from any of your apps so in this case i had a netflix app i believe so i'm gonna click netflix and then once i've done that i want to click the three dots and then i'm gonna click um i'm gonna click add to home screen <clears throat> and once i click add to home screen i'm gonna click this um squ uh, square and then once i've done that i'm gonna click choose photo it's gonna be in my camera roll as you can see that's the photo it's perfectly aligned which is great normally you might have to line it up and change it a bit but once you've done that you want to just click it you can change the name of course i'm going to change it to netflix click add it's added to home screen and bang there you go there's a custom app icon simple as that but yeah um this is really useful and i'm going to show you what happens when i do it it does that little like um slightly annoying um i'm going to ignore that all that crap but it's kind of slightly annoying um if you don't want to see the shortcuts every time you open the app but there's no way to avoid this guys it's like it's like a part of the shortcut itself you have to see that process otherwise it won't work but yeah hopefully this video did help if it did drop a like hit that sub button turn post notifications on and before anyone roast me i know my like home screen isn't like updated or any of that i know that but that's because as i explained earlier my phone got reset and it was so annoying i literally don't have any photos or anything but i wanted to get this video out because uh, lots of people were asking me prior to this about my home screen obviously i didn't have any recordings of it but it is what it is guys hopefully this video did help you if it did drop a like drop a comment spam up the comments for the algorithm share this with your friends so they know how to edit their home screens you know it's basically the new trend right now let's be honest if you if, if your home screen's not edited like what are you doing but yeah hopefully this video did help i know this content's kind of different but yeah hopefully it's still quite informative and helpful thanks so much for watching and peace